Hello, my name is Mikhail Ekum and I am the founder of Eduponics. Have you ever been captivated by a fish swimming in a fish tank? Well, I have. At the age of 12, that fascination of watching a fish in a fish tank has led me to founding Eduponics Go Green. Imagine a classroom where biology, chemistry and environmental sciences converge into a living ecosystem that also provide food security for the community. We're not just growing plants and fish, we're cultivating young minds and creating a sustainable, food secure future. We're not just a company, we're a movement. We bring STEM education to life by integrating aquaponic farming into school curricula. I invite you to join me on this journey of systemic change in food security, education and youth development in South Africa. Join us and vote for Eduponics Go Green. Hi, my name is Aisha and recently I've been working on an initiative um, that will basically try and alleviate the immense pressure placed on our people through inflation. And this initiative will try to encourage the exchange of foods that people no longer want or need for foods that they do need with other people in the community. This will be done either by means of an online platform, so like an app, or it can be done by establishing what I like to call food trading posts, where people can meet in person and um, exchange their food items. And in this way, we as a people can help keep one another fed and in the, at the same time reducing food waste. Hi, I'm Hein and I'm from Arable Grow. And our vision is to alleviate food insecurity. And the mission to this vision is to democratize vertical farming technology. And we do this through cl climate impact. And I mean, it's when 67% of fresh water in our country is contributed towards agriculture, El Nino's returning, climate impact, and just the amount of pesticides we're using. The way we're currently growing our food is not as sustainable as it could be. And this is where we identified that vertical farming is the solution. But we could do this in two ways. We can either just use the technology and grow the produce ourselves and be this one-man army, or we could equip others with the technology to help us and join us the fight against food security. And that's what we've done. We've developed horticulture-backed, market-specific vertical farming technology that's more affordable so that we can equip others to also start a business and grow food for their community. And we do this in a way where the produce is more sustainable, it tastes better, and it's closer to market. And that is what we do at Arable.